In this video, I'm going to show you how to update the settings on the Bidax Gamma 601. So as you can see, I've just set it up. Now, if you've just finished with a setup and you want to know how to change the settings, first thing you've got to do is if you've just set it up, you've got to reset your device. So we'll switch it off at the PowerPoint. You can also click the reset button that's here if you want to, but I'll just switch off the PowerPoint to Sometimes that makes the work, work better. So now we'll switch it on. So now if you look at the screen, you'll see that I'm on the original screen that was um, used to set up the BitAx. This screen now will not work. So if I click here, it might come up with an error or not load anything new. So it says no internet connection. This is because, well, firstly, I'll connect the internet back up, but this is also because the unit now, we're not connecting directly. We're actually gonna be connecting through the modem. So as you can see, it says page not found. Now what we'll be doing is showing you how to change the settings that we've got it set up differently. So what you'll see is if you zoom into the top screen, let's see if I can adjust it. There you go, I've zoomed into the top screen. We've adjusted so you can see better. There'll be right here, which will change in a sec, an IP address. This is the IP address that you'll use to access your BitAx. Now this does change if you reset your modem, reset the BitAx, there's a few things that could change this, but what we'll do is we'll type it in. Generally the first part would be always the same. It's the last part which may change if you update your modem settings. We'll click into that. As you can see, now we've accessed the BitAx settings. So to change the settings, now you can just go as normal to your network or your settings here, and that will allow you to change the details. So what you have to worry about is typing in the IP address after you've reset it, uh, after you've switched it on and off from first setup and you'll be able to add or change, remove whatever you need to do, any of the settings. So hopefully that helps and uh, thanks for watching.